In the previous video, we saw how to install a theme in WordPress. This is, by the way, an eight-part series. And from this, you can learn basic customization of any WordPress website. In this video, we will see how to create a page on a WordPress website. Websites have pages with multiple purposes. And, making a page is really simple in WordPress. Hi! I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. Generally, in WordPress, we use a page builder to create a page. There are several of these. But, we are going to use the default one today. It's called Gutenberg Page Builder. Part of the reason is, it is getting popular and popular day by day. For this demo, we using our premium theme Amanda. But, it is the same process in free themes also. Because you will be using the same page builder. But, in a different theme, the created page might look different. I will show it to you at the end of the video. So, to create a page, we will first go to, Pages from our dashboard, and click Add New. And, it will bring to us to the Gutenberg Editor. It is a very simple looking interface. But not any less powerful. On the right side, you will have your options of the page, and the blocks, when you will add to the page. And, on the left side, you will find your blocks. So, I am going to recreate this page today, from our premium theme. Let's start with the title. You can put columns to put content side by side. You have multiple options, but I will go with 50-50. You can put columns in another column if you want. I will put some paragraphs here. Upload an image here. You can put a caption in your image if you want. You have some manipulation options for your blocks. Like, you can duplicate your paragraphs. You can insert a paragraph, after or before a paragraph. And, as you can see, you have a lot of other options too, in case of text modification. Let's put a heading here. As your title is Heading 1. This editor will set other headings as Heading 2. Always maintain the numeric order of it. Never use Heading 3 before Heading 2. Here's the heading. Let's align it. Now, let's put a quote here. It has two types of views. This one is small. And, you also have a pull quote. It is a bit larger if you need some prominent focus on the quote. There are lots, blocks here that you can use from. By the way, you might not find these blocks in a free theme. These are premium blocks that come with, this premium theme. You can put pre-formatted text also. And you can change it from here very easily. Let's use this media text. Let's up an image here. Put a heading. And, put some paragraphs. You can switch sides. You can resize. It's very handy. 
you will get lots of embedding options too. You can embed YouTube or Vimeo videos. You can embed Spotify audio and also tweets from the tweeter. And thanks to you all, we recently hit 1000 subscribers. We are really humbled about it. And the usability of this page builder is so easy. If just you start typing or just paste a paragraph, the page builder will automatically set it to paragraph block. You can also customize the color and size from the block option on the right side. And that's not it. If you want more flexible customization, you can use custom CSS. You also get the custom HTML block too. In the options panel, you can more edit options for each block that you used on this page. You can play around and see what looks best at your site. As I said at the beginning, if you change the theme, the page will adapt the theme's look just like this. But if you go to the edit option, it will be the same editing process that I showed right now. So, there you go. I hope you like this video. If so, share and comment. In the next video of this series, we will see how to install a plugin in WordPress. So, to keep in touch with us, please subscribe and click the bell for notification. And, I will see you in the next video.